AD, I'm going to keep it simple here because I think this is what everybody wants to know right now. What is happening? Why is this happening? And why can this much talent not find a way to win right now? Um, but before I even answer that, I, 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 when I played this game, I played this game with passion. I did. So, so when I am passionate about something, I'm passionate about it. That's me. That's the way I am. That's the way I'm wired. With that being said, there comes a point where guys have to stop talking and start doing. And from the moment that this season began, guys have been saying all the right things. Have been saying all the right things. I'm willing to do whatever they need me to do. I understand it's about ball movement. I understand it's about player movement. And right now, this team is about talk. This team is about talk right now. They're not up taking anything from the pregame or postgame press conferences and applying it to the floor. And the really, really good teams that I played for, there was something that we always had, whether it's in the huddle, in the locker room. When you go through lulls, somebody has to bring a spark. And, and I'm not talking about a spark of a dunk. I'm not talking about a spark of, of something that happens just on the floor. I'm talking about in general. So there are times where there are laws in timeouts where there doesn't seem like there's something to be going on. We had guys in the huddle that were cursing other guys out. There has to be some energy and passion that comes from someone in timeouts after games, whether it's you go in the, the, the locker room and coaches are throwing stuff because frustration bring these sort of things. This is your job. This is your livelihood. And as an athlete, when you are going through times like this, you are representing your community, you are representing your city, you are representing your organization, and it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing that teams continue to have their coming out games against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Dirk Nowitzki has been invisible all year, but then against the Oklahoma City Thunder, he looks like the Dirk Nowitzki of old. Yeah, Aaron Gordon has gotten the lab and he's worked on his game. 40 points and 13 rebounds? There comes a point where somebody on this roster has to take a, a hard foul, has to get a technical foul, has to get thrown out of a game, has to show some sort of emotion and some sort of passion that will trickle down the line to everyone else. You cannot continue to go out every game and just talk about doing the right things, not do the right things, and expect a different result. Yeah, That's not the way professional sports works. 